What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Solid back with another solid reaction. And today, somebody made the perfect top 10 list only using stats. Now, we're going to go ahead and check this out and see how true or how real it is or how good this team might actually be. Or just some parts and pieces I would change out even if the stats don't line up with what they say. You get what I'm saying? So, we're going to go ahead and check this out, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on so you never miss another solid reaction. But let's go ahead and get into this one and see what's going on, baby. course of NBA history, we've seen the rise of many great players. Players that influence and impact the culture of basketball. Hmm achieve countless awards and accolades, put up unthinkable numbers, and leave a special legacy for future generations to adore. But it's in the nature of NBA fans to rank these players amongst each other. We've seen countless creations of this, from the NBA's own top 75 five, players of yeah. all time, to other sports broadcasting stations, to even casual fans of the league. Everyone has mm. their own top 10 players of all time in mind. How they come up with these rankings is a mystery to most of us. But today, we're going to come up with our own top 10 greatest players of all time. And what better way to do this than to use strictly mm. numbers and statistics to do so. Using objective facts about players to decide who's better. Well, stay tuned, although your head might hurt at the end of this video from all these stats. Before the video starts, be sure to like and subscribe for more content similar to this. We're going to make a top 10 using just numbers. Before we start, we have to go over a few rules in deciding okay. the order. First off, I handpicked 27 of the best NBA players of all time to participate in this challenge. Next, we're okay. going to have these players Dude, start tested with... through 16 different categories, all of them comparing different aspects of their games to fully determine this list. The player with the highest number in each stat will be rewarded with 10 points, second place with 9, third with 8, and so on until the 10th place receives one point and everyone else 11th and lower will not receive any points once okay. we've done this with every category we will add up every player's total amount of points the player with the most amount of points will be crowned the goat mm. the second most amount of points will be second place and so on to determine the top 10. may the challenge begin all right here to we start go us off we're going to use some basic stats like points per game rebounds per game and assists per game not much really needs to be explained here air jordan and wilt the still take first place at 31 points per game Damn. in the rebounds department bill russell and will chamberlain dwarf the competition finishing easily at one and two magic proved to be the best at dropping dimes finishing with over 11 there per is. game cp3 lebron and james above larry for seven. dimes come the on get out of here of categories deal with accolades and awards this tends to favor longevity over a player's peer yeah peak so lebron career. james Anyways, should be number one category we're going to look at is all-star appearances kareem abdul jabbar leads this category with a mind-boggling 19 all-star yeah. appearances Kobe and LeBron follow him up with 18 appearances. Next, we're going to look at all NBA appearances. This really determines how long a player has remained at least a top 15 player in the league. LeBron wins this category with an impressive 18 appearances. Yeah. Kobe, Kareem, and Duncan all tie at second with 15. Now we're going to look at all defensive team selections. I chose this over just steals and blocks because there's so much more to defense than just, just those two things. Blocks. At first place is Tim Duncan with an astonishing 15 selections. Uh, Kobe and KG finish at second KG? with 12. The next category we have is MVPs. This award really shows how many times a player was the best or at least a top three player in the I league. Think, at first, we have yeah, Mike and Bill Jabbar who finished his career with six MVPs. Following up, we have Bill Russell and MJ who both had five. Now we're gonna look at finals MVPs. Not only do you have to be arguably the best player in the league, but your team needs to win the finals, which may be even harder. At first would have been Michael Jordan, but I decided to veto it to Bill Russell. The award wasn't around when he was playing, but if it was, there's no uh, doubt okay, he would that's, have won uh, that's it decent. I would I'd do times, the same. Probably eleven times. It was just too large to ignore. Therefore, MJ came in at second with six. Our final stat of awards is championships. I understand this is a team award, but this tells you a lot about a player. Yeah. I'll give you one guess at who takes first place. Billy! Here. Yep, Bill Russell with an unimaginable 11 rings. Kareem, MJ, and Pippen follow up with six. Now we're going to look at the players through some advanced stats. This really shows who is the most efficient, productive, and helpful on oh, the good. floor. Better than any other mm. stat. We're going to start off with true shooting percentage. It pretty much accounts two-pointers, three-pointers, and free throws in the one field goal percentage. Leading this category is Stephen Curry with a very impressive 62.4%. Mike didn't I mean, even make no the shooting list. Whoa, he, he wasn't shooting deep, like that anyway, so... Midi and finish like no one else. Our next stat is PER, or player efficiency rating. It just puts a player's per minute production into It'd a number. probably LeBron. In this category yeah. is Dwayne What? Wade Mike actually had a... Oh, I actually didn't see that coming. I actually thought LeBron had a better efficiency. I'm not even gonna lie. 
I legit thought LeBron James would have better efficiency. Following up is MJ and LeBron, both around 27 to 28. Now we're gonna look at win shares per 48 minutes. It's pretty much a way of showing how much a player impacts their team's winning. Leading this category is none other than Michael Jordan and the Admiral, Yo, David Robinson. This right here matters. Winning when you on the court. Look at that. When he on the court, Mike wins all the time. I'm just saying. At 0.25. Will <laughs> Chamberlain mean? follows them up at 0.248. Our final advanced number we're going to look at is box plus minus. Similar to win share for 48, it shows how much a player contributes to their team. Michael Jordan takes the stat with a number of 9.2. LeBron places second at 8.9. Yeah, about what I said in the beginning of this wow. video of how it's wow. only just going to be stats. Yeah, I lied. Because to okay. conclude our comparisons, we have three different subjective categories. Subject. There are some things in basketball where you can't just put a number behind it. And they deserve a mention just as much as so all like the other So like clutch genes, stuff like that. The first one we're going to look at is influence and impact in the league. Although this doesn't necessarily mean the best player, it really shows who is the most innovative, creative, inspirational and just generally popular Ooh. amongst the nba fan base well on my list i have mj taking the crown it's really steph is more influential whoa hold on <laughs> that's that look a little messed up right there buddy yeah i don't i mean is iverson iverson is not on this influenceable I, i'm looking at the influence michael jordan is one i'm not not debating that stephen curry is not more influenceable than Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, we still yelling Kobe. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Iverson, Iverson had white kids with braids, bro. He got to be on there. Magic should be above him. Uh, Shaq, for real, the Diesel, for sure, should be more of it. As much as he run, come on, I don't wow. know. It's really undeniable what he did for the NBA. Popularizing wow. the league, influencing a generation of dominant guards, and affecting the culture of basketball like no one else could. Following yeah. up MJ, Stephen Curry, and LeBron James. The next category oh, they got we have is what? the famous ooh, ooh. eye test. It's pretty simple. Whoever looks and plays better than anyone else in your perspective wins it. And in my opinion, yep, my... MJ's game wowed me more than anyone else in yeah. the world. Like, it was just amazing yeah. Oh, oh, baby. Do these things. And at a close second place, I have LeBron James. I mean, he's literally the most athletic player I've ever seen. He probably could have played in the league at 16 years old. Our final category we have today is legacy. I mean, this is pretty hard to describe, but I would say I gotta a take player number one with too. the best legacy has the least amount of blemishes on their basketball timeline, and a player who is known for dominating his era, especially with a That's superior Mike. team, well, aka they won a lot in their career. At first place on my list, oh. I have Bill Russell. I mean, I know there was only like eight other teams when he played, but 11 rings is really untoppable. Yeah. The only player who came close to this is Michael Jordan, who's at our number two spot. MJ's legacy is almost perfect. He stayed with the same team for his entire career, Ooh. besides the Wizards. He brought Chicago three championships, retired, and Brought came back three. and won three more, and retired without losing once in the finals. After adding up all the total points, we came up with the top 10, and this is what we I'm came gonna up go with. Bill, I'm gonna go. Now okay, okay, oh, Bill, okay, Bill did make the team, and this is the second team over, okay. So, yo, Mike, I would've saw Mike being there, Shaq being there, Kevin Durant, I wouldn't have saw him being there. I would have saw either Steph. Yeah, yeah I would have either had Steph there. That's who I would have probably put of uh, top 10. Just because of on the stat line. That's what he's saying. Um, Tim Duncan can stay. Bill can stay. Magic. I don't know. I would have probably traded Magic for Larry Bird. But this is just stats. And like, you know, win shares and stuff like that, which kind of, okay. Yeah, okay, I guess I can see where they're going with this. I guess I can see where he's going with it. So uh, yeah, this list is on par, but on a personal level, those two people would have been switched. I would have for sure moved Stephen Curry and Larry Bird for Kevin Durant and Magic Johnson. Those two, yeah, I would have put them over there. We brought them here, Jerry West, Charles Barkley, uh, David Robinson. Uh, I'd have left Scotty here too. But he wouldn't have been 20th. He probably would have went up to like 14th or something. Chris Paul, yeah, would have been down to 20th. I don't know what the hell's going on with Chris Paul right now. Kevin Garnett would for sure needs to be moved up to probably like... Uh, I put... What did I put him at? 14? Yeah, we'll put... Kevin Garnett needs to be at least 16. Jerry West can be 20. Because, yeah. That... that I mean, I love Jerry West. And I know he the logo and shit. But no, I'm not going to... I ain't that... I ain't that... You feel me?
Wow, this list is surprisingly very accurate. You have Michael Jordan at your number one spot, along yeah. with LeBron at a close second place, yeah. only six points behind. This is almost the same without just using stats. LeBron, in my opinion, is only a tad bit off of Michael Jordan. I at the agree. Spot. Jordan placed first or second in 10 of the 16 categories used. LeBron placed top three in seven of the 16 categories. You have Kareem at your number three spot with a very respectable 75 points. Enough points to separate himself from the rest of the list, but not enough to put him in the real debate of the greatest player of all time. This is also similar to reality. Mm. And the top 10 makes sense with guys like Wilt, Kobe, Shaq, Russell, Duncan, and Magic in it. Although yeah. if I were to make some personal changes, I would bring down Wilt Chamberlain a few spots lower in the top 10. I would also bring down Kevin Durant outside of the top 10. Bro, is this like not Dave what I Robinson, said? Charles Barkley and Bob Pettit a few spots lower. That's I would what... probably have KD around the 11th or 12th spot. Now to see Larry Bird not said. in the top 10 is just sickening. I that... would put him along. Bro, is that not what I just said? Everything I just said is what he said. Everybody like moving down. Let me move him over here. Him over here. Like, yes. With Duncan a few spots higher. Scottie Pippen shouldn't even sniff this list. He only made it this far, mainly just because of the championships category. It's really impressive how some of these older players like Jerry West, Bob Pettit, and especially Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell made it this high on this list, considering they didn't even qualify for several of these categories. Out of everyone on this list, there were four players currently playing mm. in the NBA. To really give you guys a better perspective of this list, I'll show oh, it to you in a help different him. format. Help him. Somebody help really him. really does a good job of showing you how good these players are relative to their historic peers. You can clearly see that Braun and Jordan are just in a different stratosphere Making shoulders above everybody. everybody. Being 26 points higher than the next player. You have Kareem on his own level between Braun and Jordan and the rest of the list. You have the third highest grouping of similar scores which has guys like Wilt, Kobe, Magic, Russell, Shaq, and Duncan. The guys that control most of the lower top 10. And then you have the rest of the list, which is Kevin Durant and lower. Guys who accumulated a significantly low amount of points compared to the rest of the list. Michael yeah. Jordan and LeBron James mm. combined for 11 more points than the rest of the entire 11 through 20 spots. Damn. Michael Jordan combined for more points than the 15 through 20 spots and had more points than Bill Russell and Shaquille O'Neal combined. Wow. Although this list is pretty good, there are some flaws in using this method. Despite me attempting to cover up some of these flaws with some of the later categories like impact, eye test, and legacy, this list isn't perfect. There are you so know? many different aspects of the God game. Damn. That Ooh, numbers that was don't good, capture. LeBron. Like Steph Curry's off ball movement, Shaq's yeah. low post dominance, Kobe Bryant's mentality, Hakeem's low post defensive presence, LeBron's one of a kind basketball IQ and feel for yes. the game. There's just certain things you can't put a stat on. But it's just really crazy how we're able to make a surprisingly accurate top 10 with almost all just stats like just numbers and data they don't say numbers don't lie for mm. if you guys enjoyed this video the tight sure gold like chain on more, him yeah. to this. all right man i did enjoy this one man i think that the the the, the list was great um like you said there were some a couple of spots that i didn't like like larry bird being not in the top 10 really eats at me differently bro but um i mean if the stats say that that's what the stats say i mean it is decent but there's stuff that we don't look at like there's not they didn't he didn't take into uh consideration you know like the love for the game or the 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 way people use their body like larry bird abused his body to be just playing in the game you know larry bird fought through concussions and stuff like that just to play the game so those things weren't even acknowledged because it didn't do that uh like he said you know with LeBron James, his IQ, they didn't give him nothing for that. With Michael Jordan and all these other players, they didn't give him certain things because it don't contribute over to the number side of things. So it's just what it is. But, man, I did enjoy this one, man. If y'all guys did enjoy this one, man, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you never miss another salary action. I'll see y'all in the next video, baby. Peace.